Hi there, my name is Denise Reedpath and I'm the Indigenous Student Success Coach on the Moncton campus. I'm just here today because I want to send out a big congr congratulations to the retirees that are going out in May of 2022. And, I'm, and I want to just send out my warmest wishes and my blessings to you as you enter our, a new journey and a new pathway of your life. And I just want to honor that and, and be respectful towards um, everyone that is here today celebrating. So first off, I just want to offer my blessings to you as you go forth. And also I have a poem here. Uh, it's called The Feathers Poem, and it's written by Deantha Ray Edmonds Ramsey. And I just want to read that out to you today to offer you a blessing as you go out. So here I will begin. We are like feathers, our complex contours, stiff yet movable. We are strong when grounded and we soar when we believe. Feathers bring warmth and protection. Through light, they can bear weight. They undergo wear and tear, they evolve. We too rise above storms and adversity. We take control in order to let go. We lift off and glide forward, trusting that peace will follow, knowing that wisdom transcends. Patterns and colors on feathers reflect, refract and scatter light, allowing communication near and far, feathers camouflage and blend. They attract and expose, they smudge, fan and guide. They stand for pride and respect, feathers are sacred. They connect us to the creator, each other and ourselves. We are like feathers, connected, intertwined. We carry stories in our spines, release them on our breath, and propel ourselves into the light. I just want to wish you again another uh, congratulations on your retirement, and I wish you nothing but the best from our team and from NBCC. We we'll want to thank you for everything that you've done over the years. So go on and be forth to, to become what is on your next journey. Thank you. Bye. Beautiful, good morning, everyone. Um, retirees, guests, and friends, thank you for all being here today. Um, and thank you to Denise Repath for providing that Indigenous blessing this morning. Um, I'm very fortunate. I get to wake up every day on the Lewistook River, and uh, it reminds me, it's, a, I guess, a peaceful reminder of the gentleness um, of the earth that sometimes is masked uh, by the events of the day. We also heard, um, you know, some terrible news from the United States yesterday um, regarding an elementary school. We've been watching daily for three months now what's happening in Ukraine. And sometimes when there's all this this weight and heaviness, um, it, it's hard to rise above it. So I thought that was a beautiful poem this morning. And what a great way to start reminding us that there, there will be a new day, that we will rise above um, life's challenges. So thank you very much, Denise, for that. Before we begin, I do have a couple of housekeeping um, items to share. First of all, you'll notice that the Q&A on Teams is uh, turned on. I encourage you to share your message of congratulations or any stories about our retirees um, throughout today's ceremony. Additionally, please be advised that we are recording um, this event and retirees keep an eye on your email. We will provide you with a link to the, the live session and a copy of all of the uh, messages in the Q&A as a keepsake. So keep those stories coming. Um, it's great to share those memories. Um, some of them funny, some bring tears to our eyes, but they're all good in the end. Um, so I'm thrilled to be joining you today virtually. And it's interesting because although we can get together in person, um, there's something about these retirement ceremonies when we are able to do them virtually, we have far more attendance, far more of our NBCC community able to join in and celebrate retirees and for good reason. Um, today we have Terry, Teresa, Bruce, Donald, Anne, Deborah, George, and Kimball. 
Um, congratulations and thank you for the many contributions you've made to NBCC over the years. Together, the nine of you have a combined 224 years of service to NBCC. And I can say the combined years of service for all 36 retirees is 831. So you guys have a quarter of it. Um, this is a tremendous contribution to our community and the many students and staff whose lives you've touched um, over the years. Thank you for helping to make NBCC the place it is today. This has been a monumental year for NBCC in so many ways. Um, when I reflect on all that we've accomplished together, it's undeniable that our people, um, like those of you that we're celebrating today, are, um, have been and will continue to be our greatest resource and, and greatest source of strength. As we focus on the upcoming launch of our first ever capital fundraising campaign, um, as we prepare to celebrate the class of 2022 in person, um, and look toward the future of NBCC's next five-year strategic plan. This will be our third. Um, there's no doubt that the foundation that each of you has helped can lay um, will continue to play a significant role in our future. Um, so without further ado, I'm going to turn it over to our first speaker of the day, Ms. Carol Daly, and she'll introduce our first retiree. Thanks, Carol. Thank you, Mary, um, and welcome everyone. Uh, even though Bruce can't be with us today, I'm honored just to share a few thoughts um, on Bruce's 33 years of service for NBC at NBCC, which is amazing. Bruce started out as an instructor. He he taught for 22 years before turning in, before moving into his department head role. Um, Bruce uh, took on the department head role. Uh, at a time in NBCC's future or history, sorry, when we were looking at an increase in seats. So Bruce says it was like sitting at a card table. Uh, he said every year he got potentially dealt some different cards or different programs and it kept it very exciting. So he enjoyed that a lot. Uh, Bruce was also very active in our strategic efforts. He worked on some very some committees, some special committees, he tells me, that really made a difference in his career. So a few of those um, that he shared with me were the ISO project, um, the course-based delivery working group, the academic year model committee, and he finished his career in the role of academic liaison officer, where he really was um, uh, the first to lead and facilitate bridging business processes and system automation, which was a, a, a really big um, effort for Bruce in terms of his career and one he really enjoyed, and that's where I got to spend some time with him. On a personal uh, note, Bruce is a musician. Um, he, he's not been as active recently with COVID, but he's hoping to get back into the music uh, side of his uh, life. Both he and his wife are retired. His wife uh, was a nurse and she's uh, already retired. So what they're looking forward to do is traveling. They've been to Scotland a couple of times, uh, but they're really excited about traveling more now that the hopefully the pandemic is coming to an end and that more of the, the travel travel restrictions are lifted. So congratulations, Bruce, and all the other retirees. And I'm going to be passing it over to Bernie, who's going to speak about a few retirees in St. John. Yes, thank you, Carol. Um, first off, uh, thanks for everyone showing up today, but it gives me great pleasure to have the opportunity to speak about three wonderful NBCC retirees. Now, I'm going to begin with uh, Terry Morrow. Unfortunately, Terry uh, was injured just before I arrived here, so I really didn't get to know him. However, uh, Terry, um, judging by what I've learned from his friends and so on, Terry was a well-loved employee here, and I wish him all the best. But anyway, Terry began his employment at NBCC on May the 10th of 2010. Terry worked at the dry dock for 20 years and Terry brought a wealth of knowledge with him and always willing to lend a hand to help his fellow employees. Most of all, it was his sense of humor and his ability to be a great listener. There was always lots of laughs when he was around and Terry spent a lot of time at his camp in Mackin Lake with his family. He's been married to Anne for 42 years, has three children and 10 grandchildren. He always took a lot of pride in his work and he left due to health reasons and he'll be missed ever since so 
Thank you, Terry. Um, the next one I have the opportunity to speak about is Teresa Rover Show. Uh, Teresa started with NBCC in July of 1990. Teresa's retirement was, or among others, was very personal to me. <clears throat> Excuse me. We were not only co-workers, but friends, and I miss her dearly. Teresa helped everyone that asked and demonstrated a great patience when dealing with staff and students. All of the custodians that worked for her, for Teresa rather, looked up to her as a mother figure, and she treated them all like family. We all came to rely on Teresa's knowledge and experience, which she shared willingly. Teresa is a person of great character. You knew what she meant when she said, and you could always rely on her good judgment. Teresa has a wonderful family life with her children and grandchildren, and I wish her many years of enjoyment and her well-deserved retirement. So thank you, Teresa. Also, um, I have the honor of uh, saying a few words about Kim Richards. Now, Kim began her career with the regional hospital and moved uh, with into NBCC in 1997. Again, I considered Kim to be a co-worker, but also a dear friend who brightened my day every time I saw her. Kim will be remembered by all who knew her for her wonderful laugh and great sense of humor. Kim was always the first to volunteer at NBCC functions, graduations, and barbecues, and did not stop until it was over and cleaned up. Kim worked in the print shop at NBCC and went out of her way to accommodate and help in any way she could, including those that arrived needing a print job done right now. That was her favorite thing. Kim was also active in the campus social committee and faithfully sold 50-50 tickets every two weeks. Kim's retirement gift is a wonderful 10-speed bicycle she picked out, on which I'm sure she's going to tour the Westfield and Accomack area. <laughs> I wish Kim all the best and hope she continues to travel around the world and enjoy her friends and family in her retirement. So, uh, thank you for that. And I guess I'm going to turn it over to Dan Hebert. Wonderful. Thank you, Bernie. Uh, good morning, everybody. Today is a very special day, and I'd like to extend my congratulations to all of the NBCC retirees uh, retiring this year. I have the pleasure and honor to say a few words about two of them, which were on my team, uh, Mike DeShano and Donald Parker. So I'm going to start uh, with Mike. So Mike, you have been an integral part of the engineering technology faculty for 32 remarkable years. You are an amazing math and microbiology instructor that has contributed so much to our students. You've always had an amazing capacity to connect with your students and genuinely cared about their learning. This has made a tremendous impact on their lives and left a lasting impression on their professional careers. Your ability to break down complex math problems and, and explain them with such ease is truly a remarkable gift. It's a testament to the passion and to the depth of understanding that you possess of mathematics. Mike, what I've most appreciated about you is your honesty and your willingness to help improve NBCC every day. Not only did you look out for your students, but you were also a great colleague. I know for a fact that your fellow instructors and staff have tremendous respect for you and that they hold you in very high regard. You were a mentor and even instructor to many of them along the way. One of your final contributions to NBCC is your amazing work on the new math curriculum in the School of Engineering Technologies. It will have a lasting impact for many years to come. Your in-depth knowledge was critical to its creation and led to innovation and uh, your work uh, on that will forever be remembered. Thank you so much for your dedication uh, to that very important project. Mike, I hope your retirement will give you the opportunity to pursue your passion of trivia, which I had an opportunity to learn about uh, not too long ago, and also uh, of building high performance computers to take gaming your, your gaming experience to the very next level. Uh, I was really blown away uh, when you gave a, a great explanation of all these amazing computer components that you've amassed along uh, the last couple of years, and I'm really uh, anxious to see what the build of the next supercomputer will look like for you. So uh, I hope that you really enjoy that. Uh, with the recent retirement of your fellow educator and wife, Amanda, we wish the both of you all the best and good health. May your retirement bring you many years of continued happiness. You will be missed. 
So next up is Donald Parker. Don. Don, you have brought your wealth of technical expertise and passion for electronics to our students for nine amazing years. You have made important contribution to two campuses with stays in St. John and in Moncton. Students at both campuses have benefited tremendously from your dedication to their training. You are an academic chair's dream, given your multiple talents. You are a true jack of all trades that was always willing to teach whatever was required. From just about every lab ever done in EET to some of the heaviest theory-based courses, you're always up to the challenge, and I appreciated that. In recent years, you have played an integral part in mentoring new instructors that have joined our team. Your guidance and leadership will leave a lasting impression for many years to come, not only for these new instructors, but also for the multitude of students that you have taught along the way. Your positive attitude and great personality not only helped you win over your students, but also your fellow colleagues. You are a wonderful coworker that makes the workplace ever brighter when you are around. You have a great sense of humor and a contagious laughter. It's hard to imagine what the first year lab office will be without you and other fellow instructors that have recently retired. Here's a look back at some of the comments that students have made uh, over the years uh, regarding Mr. Parker. He's always willing to help out and answer questions. I appreciate his preparation for his classes. Another student noted, Mr. Parker is very patient in the lab and is a great help to all students in the class. Don's dedication to MBCC has always been strong. He constantly wanted what was best for our programs and our students. That was always evident and very much appreciated by all. Don, we wish you a great retirement full of good health and new adventures. We hope you'll stop by from time to time and say hello and join us for a lunchtime crib game. We are going to miss you dearly. Happy retirement, Don. And now I'm going to turn it over to Don, who wants to say a few words. Don. Yes, thank you, Dan. Uh, first of all, I'd like to apologize for making ma making my way to the agenda for this event. I feel like the junior member of the retiring cadre here, so I'm not worthy. I'm not worthy. And Dan, had I known I was to be the only retiree to speak, I would not be speaking. Anyway, so I'm going to make it really short. I just uh, want to tell you all how much I appreciated the last 10 years of my career, or 9.27, whatever it was. Uh, enjoyed working in very much in St. John. I met some wonderful people, uh, Bruce and Mike among, among that crowd. And I know there's a lot of, I'm humbled, honored by the number of uh, colleagues that are attending this event. So just want to say thanks to NBCC. Thanks to everybody who's touched my lives. And once again, apologize as someone who's come to love teaching. I just could not resist the uh, temptation of a captive audience. So on that note, I will fade into the sunset, but not before I introduce Carol Clerk. Carol. Thank you so much, Don. I appreciate that. Am I? Can you hear me? OK, perfect. So thank you again and congratulations to all the retirees. Uh, I was so excited when I was asked if I could say a few words about Ann Butler today because not only have I had the privilege of working very closely with Anne for the past 12 years, I also count Anne as one of my very dear friends. And I could speak for great volumes about how wonderful an, of an employee Anne was and just what a wonderful person she is. But I'll stick to my allotted half hour. Thank you, Sherry. Just kidding. I'll keep it to a couple minutes. Um, Anne started with New Brunswick Community College uh, 21 years ago, teaching in a brand new program, the Bilingual Office Administration here at the Fredericton campus. Anne's mastery of the French language, and not only because French is her first language, her grammar is impeccable. Uh, also, her uh, strong administrative skills and her passion for teaching made her the ideal candidate to teach in this uh, new program. 
and helped to develop the program and moved along with it to the Woodstock campus. She was committed to building a very strong network for the program and strong reputation, which she did. And then she later moved back to the Fredericton campus in 2009, along with the program. Although we saw a few name changes in that same program, it's currently known as the Administrative Professional French Second Language Training. One consistent of, um, in its success, one of them is Anne Butler. Anne is greatly admired and respected by all who know her, students and staff alike, and she has touched the hearts of everyone she connects with. Anne's voice is never the loudest in the room. She is very modest about her many, many accomplishments. She has a wonderful sense of humor with a laugh that is contagious. She has a courageous sense of adventure how many other people do you know who's ridden across the entire continent of North America on the back of a gold wing? And always has found the time to help anyone or and is happy to speak French with anyone who wants to speak French or who wants to practice, whether they were students, alumni or staff. That was just another one of Anne's added value to the college. But two of her most notable characteristics are her amazing ability to focus on the positive in every situation and her incredible ability to make everyone she meets feel better about themselves. These characteristics made Anne a highly valued employee and friend. It's no wonder her past students came back to visit her year after year after year. Congratulations, Anne, on a beautiful career. I hope retirement continues to be good to you. You absolutely deserve it. Now, I have the very good fortune today of introducing another one of our um, privilege, I should say, of saying a few words about another amazing colleague and friend, Debbie McAllister. Debbie was actually one of the first people I met when I came to NBCC. I dropped into the college to pick up some textbooks and met Debbie, who had stopped in on her vacation time, I might add, to drop something off. She must have spent two to three hours of unscheduled time uh, with me, just helping me to orient me to the NBCC processes. I knew right away if I was going to sit next to this very intelligent lady, I was going to be okay. Debbie is one of the most generous people you will ever meet, both with her time and her resources. She was never too busy to answer questions and make sure that uh, there was understanding in the answer. And it didn't matter if it was students or staff or industry partners. Debbie was often the first person in the building and often the, the last person out of the building and even still quite often in on weekends. She wanted to make sure she provided her absolute very best to everyone who relied on her, and there were many. Although Debbie taught in many programs during her time with NBCC, it was the Health Unit Coordinator Program and later the Administrative Professional Health Services Program that were her claim to fame. And she was has the best new program award to prove it, along with two excellence in teaching awards. I can honestly say that I quote Debbie McAllister more than anyone else in my daily life. She has a good quote and a good story for every circumstance. One size pantyhose do not fit all. In fact, they don't fit very many well. Uh, her, my favorite story, though, I would have to say, is the time she spent alone with Rod Stewart. Yes, the Rod Stewart. But it's not my story to tell, so if you want to know the rest of the story, you'll have to follow up with Debbie McAllister yourself. Suffice to say, Debbie was an incredible instructor and an amazing colleague and friend. Congratulations, Debbie, on a wonderful career. I hope you enjoy your much deserved retirement. Thank you. And now it's my privilege to turn it over to Varsha Wadnikov. Thank you.
Hello, everyone. Um, so I have the honor to appreciate George LeBlanc for his service to NBCC. George worked in the infrastructure team as a senior resource. I have always been amazed at his knowledge and pleasant nature. Many of who worked with George know how amazing he is. So I have a few notes from some of George's colleagues. His manager, Gagan, has to say, thank you for doing more than assigned responsibilities and being flexible in adapting to change. He is a great team player and has always been able to collaborate internally and externally. His dear friend, Joey and colleague for many years says, George lives for his wife, Paulette and children. In the past, George held acting managerial role. George has been a staple figure to the college for a long time, loved by all, IT co-workers and Moncton, and Moncton campus staff alike. He can't walk out of his office without being stopped by a fellow worker for a chat. He believes in the college's ultimate purpose of delivering quality post-secondary education and provide essential services to, to our communities. He has the patience of a saint, even when he's the recipient of harmless office pranks. Despite being an IT guru, George is very much old school with his notes and documentation on paper. George loves his paper. I have another note from Jorson who worked with George in the Moncton campus. George is kind, welcoming, easygoing, loyal to Montreal Canadians, and he thanks him for all the help and all those coffee conversations that brought great life perspective. George is awesome and he's sure he'll make a positive impact in those who got to know him and uh, keep enjoying life to the max, George. Again, on behalf of the entire IT department and IT team, I want to congratulate George for all your work, all your contributions to NBCC. Thank you. And I thank, uh, thank all the uh, retirees and congratulate all the retirees for the day. Um, and with that, I think it concludes the list of retirees and I hand over to Mary. Thank you, Ms. Varsha, and thank you to everyone who took the opportunity to uh, put together some speaking notes. It's really hard to put a fine point on someone's dedication to um, NBCC when they leave. We have such a caring community that, that gives over and above their jobs to colleagues, to students, to activities that that enrich our our work life, that enrich the students' experience, and anyway, I'm just always amazed at at what a great job you guys do of of pulling it together. And as Carol said, you're 30 minutes down to three. Um, anyway, once again, I just want to congratulate our retirees for 21-22. Um, you've inspired countless students, staff, um, communities during your time at NBCC. And although you'll no longer be staff members, you will always be an integral part of the NBCC community, and I encourage you to stay connected with us. Um, it's time for you to kick back, relax, and enjoy your retirement. Um, you've earned it. I'm so jealous. Um, thank you to the 74 colleagues uh, throughout the college community who took time to join today's uh, retirement celebration. Again, I think if we were all in one room, you'd be hard pressed to get all of us in there. So I just think it's wonderful that we could have joined um, from across the network to celebrate these um, retirees. Um, Terry, Teresa, Bruce, Donald, Mike, Ann, Debbie, George, Kimball, I wish you all the best in the next phase of your lives. Your presence will be missed as you've heard, um, but please take comfort in knowing that your work will continue through the people and communities you've invested in during your time with NBCC. Thank you everyone. And uh, don't forget, there's another retirement ceremony this afternoon for those of you that um, have connections in that group as well. Anyway, everyone have a terrific day and uh, we'll talk soon.